Hello, welcome to Movement Not Miracles. I'm Anna from Eat, Move, Be Happy. Um, and it's a snowy Tuesday. Well, it's sort of a sleety, haily, rainy Tuesday at the moment. Um, I hope you are staying safe and warm. And if you have to go out in this snow, um, extra safe and warm. Um, I'm staying, well, I'm staying in for the moment, um, but I will be going out with the dogs later. However, before that, um, upper back and shoulders, uh, just to work on keeping some strength and mobility through our upper back and shoulders. Um, often we focus on one and not the other. So if you focus on mobility and not on the strength as well, your muscles are not strong enough to um, help your joints be mobile. Martha's about to jump off. Hello, Martha. Her timing's impeccable. So um, we're going to work on mobility and some strength in our upper back and our shoulders. Um, a nice, simple start. You can do these seated or standing. So making sure your weight is evenly distributed um, between your left and your right, either your feet if you are standing or the bones of your bottom if you are sitting. Sitting nice and tall and away from the back of the chair if you are seated. So to start off with just some nice shoulder rolls. And we're thinking of lifting your shoulders up towards your ears and then back and down. And as you go back and down, really squeezing your shoulder blades together on your upper back, on your back chest. So you get a nice big stretch across your chest, which is important, but you're also using those muscles in your upper back to get your shoulder blades to move. So your shoulder blades should move around on your upper back and that's how your shoulders move. So if your shoulder blades get stiff and don't move as much, then you're gonna have some problems with your shoulder mobility. So up and back and down and then gradually increase the move. Now the one thing to watch out for, if I show you from the side, there's a tendency, again whether we're seated or standing, as you move back and down, we sort of let our ribs stick out and then arch our back so our bum sticks out. And that's not brilliant for our lower back, particularly if you've got a bit of a temperamental lower back. So what I want you to think of is tilting that pelvis under. So pushing your hip, your hips forward from the front. So to do that, you need to work through your bottom. So if you poke your bottom muscles, they should be contracting. And also work through your belly muscles to keep this part nice and stable and secure. So as you roll back, that doesn't happen. We stay nice and secure. And that means we're focusing the work in our upper back and our shoulders. If you can, increase that movement by adding the arms in. So think of thumbs going back and then palms coming down. So a nice big shoulder roll. So you're getting stretched through the front of your chest and the front of your shoulders at that point and you're getting some nice mobility of your shoulder blades on your back. Now for me, those of you that are used to movement not wrinkles and me and my shoulders, um, it helps me if I use some sort of um, band, this is a yoga belt, or a, um, a broom handle, something that you can brace your arms against so that you can get full movement over the back and then back and round. The further apart your arms are, the easier it is. The closer your hands are, then you need a bit more flexibility in your shoulders to keep your arms straight, but that is good for, certainly for me, I get more movement through my shoulder blades and my shoulder joint using the band. If you haven't, um, if you haven't got a belt, an ordinary belt will do, but if you haven't got anything to brace your arms against, then you can just do the shoulder move like this. That's absolutely fine. And as long as you are working to get as much movement through those shoulder blades as you can, then it's doing its job. 
Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of a stretch across our chest and then we're going to do some um, upper back strengthening work and mobility work combined. So to start off with, again seated or standing, if you clasp your hands behind your back and then squeezing your shoulder blades together, making sure your shoulders are away from your ears. So exaggerated, but we don't want that to happen. So think back and down to start off with. Again, don't let belly stick out or bum stick out. So everything nice and secure. And we're squeezing shoulder blades together to get some stretch through the front of your shoulders, through the deltoid muscle there, but also into the chest. And as you hold that stretch, just breathe. And try and stay relaxed everywhere else. So no tension in your neck, no tension in your jaw. As the stretch relaxes, let's see if you can squeeze a little bit more. Okay, a bit of a tactical waggle of the shoulders. Right, so I'm going to do um, a couple of different variations of this one. First one, fairly simple move, but actually I find them quite hard to do. So, um, good for me because my thumbs do stick up when I'm shadow boxing amongst other things, but there's nothing wrong with that. So, thumbs up, shoulders back and down. So, start off with good posture and then just lifting your arms up. You can't see the top if I move back a little bit. As straight as you can go, so you're like a, an I, a capital I shape. So you are aiming, if I show you from the side, you'll see how bad my shoulder flexibility is. You're aiming for your arms to be back behind your ears. So you need to work really hard through the muscles in the side of your back and into your back to try and make the arm go back. Now, as you can see from me, that's quite hard work for me. So focus on what you can do. So that's the first shape. And then, we're doing the same, but now in a Y shape. So your arms are out to the side a little bit. We're aiming for thumbs pointing backwards and arms nice and straight without letting that belly stick out and that bum stick out. And then back down to the center. And then the final one, again, thumbs backwards is a capital T shape. So rotating your arms back, thumbs sticking out behind you, squeezing those shoulder blades together so you should feel a stretch across your chest as well and relax so we're going to do that twice more all the way through so capital i to start off with making sure you're working through your glutes and your belly to stabilize your lower half sitting or standing nice and tall arms back so we don't want that to happen we don't want our shoulders to come up by our ears you're keeping your shoulders back and down arms as straight as you can. I'm actually working quite hard through my legs as well. And then that capital Y shape. Thumbs pointing backwards, don't let my belly stick out. Okay, and then the capital T. Thumbs really, so your arms, I don't want thumbs here. Can you see my thumbs pointing forwards now? Rotate your arms back. And then once more, all the way through. So a bit of a tactical waggle there. Arms, shoulders down, arms straight and back. Capital Y. Elbows straight. And then capital T. Okay, a bit of a tactical waggle. So you should feel some work through your shoulder joint but also the muscles in your back working to hold your arms and your shoulders in those positions. And as I said before, if your muscles are not strong enough to support the joint, um, then it doesn't matter how much mobility you do, your joint is not gonna be as healthy as it can be. You, you're not gonna get the movement, the correct movement out of the joint. So working strength and mobility is important. So different variation of this, and we have done these before. It's a little bit difficult for me to, I can't bring the camera any closer, but hopefully you can see. 
So using the wall as a bit of feedback, if you haven't got a wall, so you're seated, don't lean on the back of the chair, but it, if you can, you sort of feel where your shoulders are. So we're being in sort of a, a weird W shape position. So we're aiming for that rotation through the shoulders to get the arms back. So my shoulders are back and down and I'm working hard through my lat muscles here and I'm trying to rotate my shoulders, my arms back so that they're resting against the wall. Now that is really hard work for me. So I'm trying to get my wrists flat on the wall and it is just not gonna happen. I don't know whether you can see from there. So you need to line yourself up so that you are not leaning on the wall completely, but that you, you can feel the wall behind you as a bit of a guide. And then we're gonna lift our arms up, keeping contact with that wall without letting your bum stick out, without arching through your back, and then bring our arms down. And you see, I am quite a long way away from the wall because my shoulders just will not bend this way. And I can really feel the work in my upper back, which is where we want it. So we're gonna go up one more time, and down. Actually, I, didn't, I said one more time, I didn't mean that. Now it's one more time. Keep breathing. I've gone quiet. You probably realise how hard this is for me. Okay, and relax. Oh, bit of a tactical waggle. That is actually really quite hard work for my for my shoulders because I find it really difficult to rotate through that plane, um, which is why it's good for me to do to keep my shoulders mobile and flexible. Um, and then we're going to finish off with. Um, we're going to use the wall, so we're not doing a full forward bend, but some work through, so bracing our hands against the wall, working through some mobility through that upper spine. So um, if you are seated, if you, so if you imagine that I'm sitting in a chair, you can do this one, bending forwards and using either a work surface or a window ledge or a table to brace your arms against. So you're going to push down through your arms so that you can push through that upper back and try and get some stretch through our armpits. So again, we can do this one using the wall. Hopefully you can see here. So you need to be far enough away that you can brace yourself against the wall and push down, sticking your bottom backwards to try and bring your chest through, arms straight as you can and keep breathing. And then just release and we'll do that one again. So hands are flat against the wall and then I'm taking my hips backwards and take, pushing my chest down towards the floor. Your legs are straight. You might feel a bit of a stretch down the back of your legs, but if your legs are on an angle away from the wall, that reduces the needs for your hamstrings to stretch. I could feel that sneeze coming and I was hoping it was going to go away but it didn't at least I didn't make a great big elephant snorting noise okay so hopefully um hello Sam Jack are you still here and um, hopefully your shoulders feel a little bit more worked maybe a little bit more space across your chest um, it's really really easy if we find ourselves sitting hunched over for long periods of time for your muscles in your chest to shorten and but you become really round shouldered and the muscles in your back get weaker so strengthening the muscles in your back and stretching through the muscles in your chest can help us sit taller and have a much healthier upper back posture so um, it is worth doing some mobility and strength work combined to help both of those things happen um, so enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, as I say, stay safe, stay warm. Don't forget, check out the website www.eatmovebehappy.com for other online wellbeing solutions. We've got online coaching to help people make some lifestyle um, changes around their eating, their exercise 
Um, so if you check out the website, and there's some funding available as well, all of the information is on there. Um, in the meantime, um, enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, and I will be back tomorrow, probably with the help of Martha, because um, she loves doing movement, not miracles, as you know. Enjoy. I know, I know.